Hey, what's going on, everyone? Back. A rapper will remain in jail after turning himself in. YFN Lucci, whose real name is Rayshawn Bennett, faces murder and assault charges. It's in connection to the shooting death of James Adams on People Street in December. We, uh, today, a Fulton County judge denied him bond, and Atlanta police say he is one of three suspects involved. Atlanta in for us this morning, and Joe, YFN Lucci is the big name here. Walk us through the allegations. Oh yeah, known among uh, several radio stations, DJs, uh, concert goers around the Atlanta area. Rayshon Bennett, who goes by the stage name YFN Lucci, was out on bond in connection with the shooting death of a man here in Atlanta back in December. And now he will be ordered back to jail as part of the gang sting. The GBI formed a gang task force in 2019 focused on prosecuting gang members under state anti-gang laws. So that actually helped the Fulton County District Attorney's Office land this indictment. 75 pages, 105 counts in total, all against 12 men allegedly associated with the Bloods gang in Atlanta and Miami. The indictment shows organized criminal activity dating back to 2010. Rayshon Bennett's name comes up in February of 2020 when he appears to throw up gang signs and use certain lyrics in a music video called Shine On. She did a RICO indictment, uh, and this is something that is unusual. The indictment ranges from murder all the way down to possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. As of 2019, the GBI reported 70,000 will remain in a no bond status at this time. Additionally, this court revokes any bonds previously issued in this case. As Willis says, Lucci had been out on a half million dollar bond for felony murder and other charges before the racketeering indictment. The same felony murder that forms the backbone of the racketeering case against him, in which Lucci, a gang associate, allegedly drove his new Maybach luxury SUV and two alleged gang members who are passengers open fire in rival gang territory, including James Adams. There are individuals outside gathered at the back of a car. Um, playing chess, holding a baby. At the and Adams was killed in a gun battle that developed. Then a short distance from the scene was dumped from the Maybach. Drew Finling says YFN Lucci is innocent of all charges and not a gang associate. Based on what myself, Mr. Banks, Ms. Goldberg, and Mr. Dixon saw, there's no evidence that they were the first people shooting, rather the, the antithesis. DA Willis says Lucci repeatedly violated the conditions of his bond when he was on bond for the felony murder and before he surrendered on the racketeering indictment. We're working this case so hard because as you know I have taken a very strong stance against gangs. Um, it's causing a great deal of violence in our community. Now, if you're wondering what felony murder is, Lucci lawyer Finling has told us felony murder occurs when someone unintentionally causes a death in the commission of a felony. He maintained Lucci was not committing a felony. And first and foremost, I want to send condolences to the entire family of James Adams. I don't know what's all the way factual and what actually went down with the storyline of how he lost his life. The stuff is still getting settled and put out through reports and everything. But one thing that is factual is that brother is no longer here with us. And he has family, loved ones, and close friends who are still grieving that loss. So I send condolences and prayers to all of them first. And now line of what we got to where we are today with YFN Lucci State Rico case in Fulton County, Atlanta, Georgia. Now, we first see where it happened that he had got arrested for the uh, role in this alleged murder that he pled not guilty to and everything. Then a little bit after that, he got picked up with the Rico charges and that murder was put into that also. Funny Willis was, uh, you know, the DA on that situation. Same thing with YSL. Well, it's been two years now, but it's gang indictment that he's actually involved in himself that he has to face charges on. So they put that out the other day that he was actually offered this to take the plea deal. And his lawyers came out and spoken now and said that they have decided to reject it. His lawyer came out and spoke now and said that they've rejected it and they will go to trial. And the write-up says this. This is coming from TMZ. Why Finn Lucci is rejecting a plea deal. Why Finn Lucci is rejecting a plea deal Georgia prosecutors offered him in his racketeering case. We've learned Lucci's instead opting to go to trial to clear his name. According to court docs obtained by TMZ, health charges including felony murder, racketeering, aggravated assault, and violation of a street gang terrorism and prevention act. Lucci, whose real name is Rayshawn Bennett, is not interested in the offer. His attorneys, Drew Finley and Gabe Banks, 
tell us the plea offer is absurd and they strongly hinted the DA is intentionally dragging her feet. They point out Lucci is still waiting to go to trial after two and a half years in custody. The attorneys also slammed Willis for focusing instead on new, higher profile cases that have completely, completely monopolized the court's resources and pointed out her utter inability to prosecute complex cases. And I'm going to tell y'all that's a reference to what's going on with YSL. They went on to say, despite the obstacles consistently placed in the way of Mr. Bennett's constitutional right, and it's the wording of these laws and how they charge you, whether murder or seeing a nigga that look like me, talk like me, walk like me, act 